Hey, I'm back. I wasn't planning on doing this live stream. I forgot I would do it live only because I decided to do a random, um, like a random system update check. It turns out that there is actually one. Um, yeah. So, anyways. There's one waiting. Um, it's, it's paused right now. For a second here so I can explain. I'm trying to read uh, through the credentials here and try to find out exactly what has changed. It's a very, very small um, update. So it's only 736 kilobits in size. Uh, but you can tell that this is an update. Um, so for the update, the number is SPB3.21064. Uh, the previous version of Android 12 Beta 3 ended in 0 .013, not 016. A relatively small um, update. So let me see if I can find out any, any information regarding it. Um, Looks like no, but we're gonna go ahead and resume with the installation here. And I am going to look up. So Android 12 beta. Sorry about the ringtone. I know it's kind of loud. Uh, SPB 3.2106. Six one eight dot zero one six. Let's see what we find on the Webernet. Oh, it's three point one. It's Android three point one. Uh, Android twelve beta three point one. So I got to correct myself on that. I put um uh, three point two. I think. Uh, so this has been available for a day now. All right, let's screen share this and read this together. What's up, Gene? Okay, let's find out what did they fix in uh, 3.1. All right, let me turn this on. And there we go. All right, so I'm gonna go read through um, XDA's finding while uh, 12 beta 3.1 is installing on the PIX4. Uh, let's see, let me skip all the, all the non-important stuff. So it says here, uh, Google says, anyone already running de uh, developer preview or a beta build of Android 12 should get the beta 3.1 release as an update shortly. The channel log for this release is definitely short with only three notable fixes listed below. These are the three fixes they fixed. So number one, they fixed an issue that caused some devices to get stuck in a boot loop after restarting the device. Uh, that was tagged number, uh, tagged issue number 193789343. So that is, uh, that, that's, that's how they address it. Um, also fixed an issue that sometimes caused the system UI to crash. So that's been fixed with um, beta 3.1. Hold on. Okay. Ugh. Why is it acting so weird? Uh, anyways, okay, so the system, U, the, the system UI has been fixed. The uh, issue with the boot has been fixed. And the last one is fix an issue that sometimes caused the Android low memory killer uh, daemon MKD to um, excessively kill processes. I guess that was happening quite frequently uh, in beta 3. So those are the three notable things that are changed with this uh, small update. 
so now we are still i mean we're still in beta 3 but it is a extended version of beta 3 so we're not in beta 4 yet but taking the update right now um so it is uh hang on it is optimizing right there um okay like what is causing interference there's like a frequency that's like causing interference with the microphone i don't know if you hear that little like i can hear it in the headphones i don't know what's causing it i'm trying to see if it's one of my phones here because sometimes my phones do that um huh let me move the uh Looks like it was uh, the Los mobile phone. <laughs> the uh, iPhone was causing that interference connection with uh, um, with the microphone here. So I got to keep a safe distance between those two. But anyways, yeah, absolutely nothing super major with this one. Just, just a simple... Um, Simple couple of fixes. The boot loop, I never had that issue. I didn't get I didn't get that issue at all. So I'm fairly okay. Um, and uh, the system UI crash, I think I've had that happen to me twice. So knowing that this fixes that issue, that's that's pretty cool. Um, shout out to Google for that one, for making that possible. Appreciate it. I wouldn't want to have to deal with that for a long time. Um, also, on the side note, for those who uh, catch a replay or whatever, if you're wondering what that link is right there, uh, it says my social links. It's got a quirky uh, uh, URL. And it's actually like a, a, a simpler way of getting all the links to my social accounts like Twitter, Instagram, and all that stuff. It's all in one place. It's kind of like Linktree, but it's different. It's called Drum. And um, so yeah, if you plug in that URL, https colon slash slash drum dot io slash go shadow, that has a link to like you know, my YouTube, Odyssey, Twitter, Facebook, um, Cash App, PayPal. It's all right there. It simplifies it into one space. So uh, for those who catch the live stream, you know, if you guys want to follow me outside of YouTube, uh, that's how you do it right there. Um, Other than that, I mean, not really much going on today, except for the earlier live that probably caught people off guard. Um, you know, I feel better from that moment. I gotta apologize if I sounded rude or anything like that. Um, saying the things that I said in that live stream, leading up towards the end, it got my emotions boiling. And so that's why I had to jump off. Um, but I meant what I said on that so hopefully hopefully people understand where i'm coming from but this uh live i just strictly wanted to focus on android 12 beta 3.1 i gotta fix that made it made an error there and put 3.2 the 3.1 what i'm going to test out with uh with this and i'm waiting for it I'm gonna stay live until it's it's um fully updated. But one thing I'm gonna test out is uh the studio app. Let's see if it fixed some issues with that too. Uh, who knows? It may. Right now it's just it's uh, optimizing the apps and everything like that. Currently at this time right now, and then I have it charging too at the same time. I reverted back to my Pixel Four. I was using the Pixel Five for a little bit. That one is still on um, uh, 12 beta three. Uh, the four is getting moved up to uh, 12 beta 3.1. So we'll see how that turns out. <sighs> Other than that, uh, man, there's not really much going on. Not too much going on. Right. I could have made this into a video, but I don't know. I just wanted to get the info out there pretty quickly. What up, Carlos? What's going on, man?
Yeah. So hopefully this fixes uh, the studio crash also, because that that was annoying as hell. Having to always deal with uh, the app crashing. I mean, like the way Studio would work, it would work for for a time, and then all of a sudden when you try to get into it to do any changes or whatever, it would just crash. That sucked. <laughs> so you try again, it crashed. It completely uninstall studio, reinstall it, just to be able to make some minor adjustments and changes to like your videos and live stream titles or if anything you want to put it in the description section. Um, yeah, it was always tough having to freaking uninstall studio. So hopefully this fixes it. I mean, it fixes a fixes a lot of the other issues. <laughs> um, it fixes a lot of the other issues, you know, as far as boot looping, which I didn't even know people were experiencing boot looping. So thankfully, I didn't come across that issue. Thankfully. Because that uh, boot looping sucks. <laughs> it really does. I know, man. You gotta rock the Sriracha shirt. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Those people are staring clear of me today because of, of the things that I said. Um, yeah, I know I went off on that last, on the earlier live stream today. I know I went off, you know, there's, there's only so much that someone can take. And I was at my boiling point. I said what I said. So. Well, hopefully people listen hopefully people listen but yeah this is one of my favorite shirts it's comfortable too it's comfortable as hell this shirt the uh, mint sim shirt i don't know where it's at oh it's over there and it's actually it says mint sim it doesn't say uh, mint mobile so i have the shirt before they changed the name over and and fell under uh, new ownership with uh with um ryan reynolds so i have a mint sim shirt it's kind of funny <sighs> yeah, waiting for this update to finish. I don't think there's gonna be any drastic changes to the UI. It's such a small. It's only 736 kilobits or kilobytes, not kilobits, but kilobytes. So it's not. It's just fairly small. Who's using uh, Android 12 beta at this point right now? I don't know what it is about that water, but that is some damn good ice water. <laughs> You're using it on your Pixel 5? Okay. So there's an update for it. I don't know if you've been experiencing like, um, what was it, uh, system UI crashes? If you are, then... Uh, Beta 3.1 addresses that, uh, addresses that issue and fixes it. So if you want to check to see if you have like a system update and install it, if you're experiencing that issue. Um, <laughs> T-Mobile beach towels. That's crazy. That, that is absolutely crazy. The I don't know what it is. And <laughs> I've, been getting a, I've been getting some weird comments. And I had someone that was mad and said I was contributing to the scam of Google Fi. And I was just like, well, the response to them was like, how uh, <laughs> um, how do they feel about T-Mobile? Because if, if I was trying to bait them, if they were to come back with a comment saying that T-Mobile is the greatest, and I was just going to totally just sh you know shut them down. Like, dude, <laughs> Fi uses T-Mobile. It may have lower priority access, but it uses T-Mobile. So if you're going to say that they're trash, <laughs> T-Mobile's trash too, then I don't know. Uh, on a side note, um, so the case that I got for my Pixel 4, uh, my lovely missus got one of those uh, card holder things, the Coca-Cola and the ASU Sun Devils logo. So I stuck it on the back of this purple case. So it's a nice case. It's got, you know, like little fleshy stuff on the inside to keep the back of the Pixel 4 from scratching. So, yeah. That was, I thought was pretty cool. I could have put a pop socket there, but I figured, you know what, like, if I don't want to carry my wallet, I can just throw my ID card and, you know, my other, like, debit cards in here and just carry it with my phone. So, I figured, why not? Uh, this, this is for a small update. This, this thing's taking way too long. I would figure that it would go... It would optimize beyond this already. Look, it's like stuck right there. Like, what the fudge? <laughs> what the fudge is going on here? Like, come on, man. Optimize. Sorry, son of a gun. TikTok. 
so and so likes my video. Yeah, I've been posting a lot of my uh, Pokemon Go videos on TikTok. They're getting people to like those. I didn't think anyone would like them. It's just like random um, screen recordings of Pokemon Go. Like I've been playing more like mobile games, Stadia games and stuff like that. So no crashes, just laggy and slow as hell. Oh man, that sucks for you, dude. 12, uh, 12 beta 3 has actually been pretty smooth for me. The only problem is, like I said, that whole fiasco with the YouTube Studios app. Uh, that's the only problem that I have, but everything else is just pretty snappy. That's on my four. Try to find no contract phone, only pay for the data you use. Try a flexible plan if you use less data. <laughs> Advertisement. Um, yeah, everything's been fine with me with beta 3. Even the the whole um, UI like style thingamajiggy. Why does it say theme icons is off? Theme icons should be on. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah, see, you got like different. Uh, different ways that you can theme it. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's been, it's been cool for me. I'm going to try out a uh, boost when it goes live in like two months. Man, that's not bad at all. I was thinking about trying boost mobile also again, like once AT&T pretty much has that on lockdown. That ice water was good. It was really good. Um, anywho. Yeah, definitely quite interesting. It'll be interesting to see what your thoughts are on um, on uh, Boost Mobile when you try them out. It'll be very interesting. We're getting a lot of mixed uh, people with mixed feelings. And then there's like people that went and got SIM cards and they're like, is this a SIM card that will get me access to AT&T? And I'm just like, uh, did you guys get a new SIM card? Uh, <laughs> you know, a couple of months ago, maybe like um, six months ago to like nine months ago. And they're like, no. So I'm like, okay, it's pretty much the, uh, the extended network SIM card for T-Mobile. So you got the SIM card that gives you access to t-mobile so you don't have access to at&t just that that's sad though like some people were like they don't like it i already ordered a boosting card earlier today for 9.99 from an ad on twitter why <laughs> i mean like is this sim card gonna be like you know uh, the one that's used for the at&t connection um because i'm assuming that that you know you're gonna have to get another sim card once uh once everything's migrated over to AT&T's uh, network access, you're probably gonna have to get another SIM card. So, yeah, I was gonna wait until like they say it, like you know, like Boost is powered by AT&T, then I'll get a SIM card. I was thinking about getting like. Um, I'm not getting, but like signing up for like those uh, um, those uh, mobile business cards. I don't know if you guys ever heard about them. So they're like they're digital business cards. You're literally like, you know, they said same sim will work. Oh, nice, no slim swap. Sweet, that's good news. That means you don't have to. So then you're set and ready, Gene. You're good. You're golden. I'm not sure what network it is, but I am confused as to why they advertise for SIM cards when T-Mobile's gone. It's not gone yet. T-Mobile's not gone yet. They, the switch is not done yet. But Carlos just said that you don't need a SIM swap. If you get the extended network SIM card, that that's going to work. So you're good. You're good. You get your SIM card in the mail. You're good to go. When you get con when it's confirmed, like. It's put out there that Boost is on AT&T's network, and then if you sign up for Boost, you should be good. You'd be all right, man. But yeah, I think I was thinking about signing up for one of those digital business card things. Like when people want to like get my social links, like how you know how I have the link for Drum right there. If um, 
October 21st, it's gone. Cool. But like, if someone was like, yeah, you know, I want to follow you on YouTube, you know, they can just like tap my phone to get all that info. <laughs> I want to try that out. I want to try out a digital business card and say, why not? Say, why not? Hometown custom PC. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Um, but yeah, I was thinking about trying something like that. I was just, I mean, drum was okay. I haven't gotten the, the, the full, the full thing of drum just yet. Um, I'm still kind of like discovering it, like kind of going through it to kind of see what it's about. Uh, apparently you're supposed to be able to make money through it, uh, sharing your social links. I don't know. I don't know how that goes, but eventually when I, when I understand it completely or whatever, then I'm going to do like a video explaining it, talking about it. Um, but it's pretty much like Linktree, but apparently you can make videos from them videos. You can make money off of this thing. Um, but yeah, so yeah, anyone that has not followed me on social platforms or whatever, I keep going like that because I think it's over there. It's, it's right there. I should do that. Point towards the microphone. I got to remember that. Point towards the microphone. So I'm pointing towards the little tab thing down there. But yeah, you plug that um, that URL in. Gives you um, all the links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Odyssey. All that, all that good stuff. I have one of those cards from Tappy. Oh, I think that's, I think that's the one that I saw an ad for. I think that's it, right? Like, literally, if someone wants to get like your info, your contact info, and everything, like you, you have the app open, and all they gotta do is just like bring their phone close or tap your phone uh, with the NFC or whatever within range, and it just there on their screen, it opens up and shows like all your social platform links and contact information, right? <laughs> that's, I think that's it. Anyway, I was digging some crap yesterday, and I found this. Now, no, this is not a real cassette tape, but it is from Visible. Believe it or not, what this thing is, it's actually a USB stick. <laughs> it was one of the quirky things I got from Visible that I was just like, wow. And I totally forgot what's on here. I think there's a couple of games from my, my PSP emulator on my Chromebook that I just plug this in, run the emulator, and play the games. So all the games and stuff, like save data and everything's on here. Um... But I just found it again. I was like, it was missing for a while. And I saw it. It's only two gigs in size. There's only two gigs of space on here. But I was just like, I mean, it's kind of cool. <laughs> kind of a throwback to cassette tapes. Um, all the young ones out there won't even know what the hell this is. Yeah, you can like show this to them and they're going to wonder what it is. I mean, try showing a 13 year old a floppy disk and watch their jaw drop. Like, <laughs> It's 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 uh it's kind of crazy, but yeah, I found that and I was just like, cool. Yeah, I remember cassette tapes. I used them a lot. Sony Walkmans, the actual Walkman before the CD, the CD Walkman came out. I was that for some nostalgia. That was like funny as hell, cause uh, yeah, I remember the, how how pain it was. I had a little brother and sister, you know, growing up. My older sister, she moved out, just me, and then it was my younger siblings. Walk into my room, find one of my cassette tapes out of its case. The actual um, cassette film pulled, <laughs> it was like all the way out. And you gotta like, you gotta, you gotta prevent it from, from like hard folding or anything like that. And you gotta stick your finger in the spool and twist it to, you know, to rope that film back into the spool on the inside of the cassette tape, man. It was paid in the ass. I have a portable cassette player in my closet. And I also have 100 cassette tapes in storage. Man, oh man, dude. Shoot. I mean, I think it'd be cool to see that collection if you brought it out one day on your live stream. <laughs> I think that'd be kind of cool. What kind of cassette tapes do you have? Hold on, I gotta grab something here on the bed real quick. All right, Yoda, hold the headphones. Hold the headphones. Okay, I'm back. That would actually be kind of cool to see, though, really, honestly. Anyways, yeah, since I got up to go get that, what I was going to get, show the... 
the mint sim shirt <laughs> before they changed their name to mint mobile they were mint sim but that fox character is just hilarious let's see how much more does it have to go It's doing something. Take it a while, though. It's doing something. What's up, Bobby? <sighs> it's like 4.45 p.m. Um, I'll probably start dinner here soon in a little bit. Again, I get it going. Uh, that's not cool at all. Yo, what's up, Isaac? What's going on? That'd be a better way, better way to do this. I don't got time for that kind of stuff. Okay. All right, so it went through. Sorry about that, everybody. I know. Craziness. Why does everything keep going wrong there? <laughs> well, I see that there's a delay in in uh, you know in the the chat stream here, but that'll go away. So I do apologize for that, everybody. Hey, you know what? Some people just think they're funny. And I guess uh, whatever I said today just didn't get through. Oh, well, I tried. I tried. So, anyways, how are you guys doing today? Uh, what's up with everybody else? How's the rest of your day looking? I tried Mint Mobile a long time ago, and I switched back to uh, Verizon. Mint Sim not working out uh, for me on my Droid Turbo. So I guess T-Mobile doesn't work that well in your area then, right? Because like Mint, Google Fi, like they, they use T-Mobile. So if it wasn't all that great, then um, I guess T-Mobile doesn't work great in your area. Taking a cool minute for that to, to update, man. I don't know. It almost seems like that it's getting stuck on where it says optimizing apps. From what I noticed so far. 
Hey, Porky, how's it going? Well, actually, no, I'm going to be making them here in a little bit. It's like 4.49 p.m. my time. So, I mean, we're having after dinner. Chili dogs. My son's favorite... Uh, his favorite character that he idolizes is basically Sonic the Hedgehog. And Sonic likes chili dogs. I mean, I found the old episodes of, um, you know, The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, it was the little goofy cartoon they used to play back in the day, and he started watching those, so then he got, like, uh, he got in, um, into those cartoons and like that, so. No, pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, chili dogs is, like, his favorite thing. It's favorite for everything to eat. Mint Sam tech support told me how to fix it. I told them I switched back to Verizon. Okay. <laughs> I, that sex is so vague, Bobby. You're just like, they told me how to fix it, but I told them I went to Verizon. Like, <laughs> I just feel like no emotion in that statement at all whatsoever. Um, but hey, <laughs> all's good. You know what I mean? Well, what, what doesn't work for one may work good for somebody else. You made hot dogs for your dinner tonight? Nice. Like hot dogs? Like what? Like hot dogs with mustard and ketchup? Did you throw like onions on it? Relish? Sauerkraut? Like, how do you dress the hot dog? Just put them outside. They will cook in the heat. Actually, we've been we've been cooler. The the weather has been a lot cooler here um, since we had a uh, you know that what they call a monsoon. But I mean, to me, it's just like you know a day or two of rain. Um, but we've had some unfortunate things happen in the city, though. Uh, this is the thing about my city I understand. Like, I know, like, rain here, it doesn't, it doesn't rain very often in this city. And so when it, when it does rain, like, a lot of people stop to, uh, you know, just enjoy the rain and stuff like that. But it also seems like that um, common sense flies out the window. Like, you will not believe how many people got stuck in their vehicles and, you know... And like huge, huge bodies of water. Like some of the off ramps on the interstate here. So we have like the I-17 and the I-10. And then we have the uh, the Loop 202. Um, and there were like like the the off ramps. Some people will see like a giant puddle. Like it, it's flooded, you know, because it's been raining for the past couple of days. And um, they'll attempt to drive through it. And it's just like what? Why would you guys attempt to drive through it? Um, and then it gets stuck. <laughs> I mean, me personally, if like if that was the only offering on a highway for me to go home, and literally I was just like you know going to be stuck on the on the off ramp, and I had a pile of cars behind me because they decided to try to get off the highway and they got stuck. I'm not going to attempt to go through the water. I don't care how many people honk behind me and get pissed off. I am not going to attempt to go through the water. I'm not going to get stuck in the water. So I can wait. I can be patient about it. Uh, not dressing it. Come on, hot dogs. You can your hot dogs outside in the rain. Cool. Go Speed Racer and, uh, and Sigmund. And the sea monsters were good cartoons. Yeah. Your weather was uh, focused on uh, the was was the focus on the weather channel, and they were talking about that. Yeah, because a lot of people here they, they do that for some reason. I don't understand. Men will lift the trucks. They think they can go through. <laughs> you know what's funny? There was a lifted truck that was that was uh, that was stuck in the in the flood. Um, so like here in my city, when they when they call for flash flood warnings, it's not only just like the 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 properties on the outskirts of the city that got to worry about flash flooding. But they're also talking about the off ramps on the freeway. Um, they, they 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 get they get pretty filled with water pretty fast. I mean, um, right in front of uh, of my apartment, the parking lot area, it's still flooded. I, it's it's not flooded like how the off ramps are, where it's deep. But um, there's still a giant pool of water on the ground. So like yeah, I mean because of all this all the rain that we got and everything like that, the weather has been fairly well. I mean. Right now, it's only 104 degrees outside. It feels like 98. So it's not too bad. I wouldn't be able to cook a hot dog outside. <laughs> I watched the weather channel this morning. Bro. I don't think we're getting any more uh, rain for a while, though. So it should start heating back up for August. 
we should get back into the triple digits. Yeah, my city is a major city. It's it's I think it's the sixth largest city in the US, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, it's pretty big. That's why my Galaxy S20 Fan Edition 5G. Oh, that's what it's running is Android 12. Yeah, there's just uh, there's a new update for for beta for beta three, but it's beta three point three point one. I put three point two by accident just because you know. Oh, it's slowly optimizing the apps slowly, very slowly. So I wonder if it's gonna fix that whole issue with Studio. But yeah, yeah. There's another there's another beta out. Am I still moving out of this city? Yeah, I am still moving out of the city. Um, a little bit later than what I expected, only because um, my son, Nick, I, I don't know if I told you guys this. I think I think I have. But um, my second oldest son, he's he's going to he's not going to like a regular high school. Uh, he goes to coding academy. Uh, so at the same time, while he's getting his uh, high school credits so he can graduate high school, he's also pursuing um his uh vocational study for um for software engineering um initially what he wants to do is he wants to be a game developer when uh that's what he wants to do for a living for the rest of his life and possibly even open up his uh his own uh gaming um company you know like acclaim or capcom uh snk you know something like that uh so anyways yeah that's his goal so instead of um pulling him at a crucial point we're extending to live here a little bit longer just so he you know he finishes a few things that he needs like he definitely like he definitely needs um that's not offered in the city that we're moving to uh once once he gets those those crucial things then it's like you know it's open season to move out of this city to a smaller town where there's a vocational school at the at the uh the college that uh, will give him the rest of the stuff that he needs. Um, yeah, so coding is the future. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's pretty good at it. I mean, one of the coolest things, and I know he's looking forward to it uh, come February. So uh, February, I, I think they have like a week off school. However, uh, that week he can actually spend it at the school. So what they do is they convert the auditorium into like a giant uh, sleepover place so you can bring your sleeping bag your pillows you bring your school laptop and like whatever you're working on whether it's like a new a new app for ios or for android if you're developing you know beta software for to run on a chromebook or a laptop or even uh developing a video game like all they do is like the students just stay the night at the school they're staffed there to to watch them and they play games online they develop their games they develop their applications and tools and stuff like that and it's really 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 cool uh let's see the only thing i don't like about the galaxy s20 fan edition 5g is bixby and i'm so glad i disabled it yeah i hear a lot of people really don't like bixby so um uh, after the more <laughs> Are there more Karens in smaller towns? I don't know. And uh, I really wouldn't put it to like a big town, small town or anything like that. It's just the person themselves. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that was just weird. I don't know. Oh, whatever it is. You want to meet me? Why? <laughs> like, it, I mean, in person? I'm sorry if I sound so cold when I say it. You know, I, I don't. I don't mean any anything bad about it, but like, sure, why not? I mean, do you like coffee? Because I like to drink coffee. So maybe I don't know where you're at in the country. But if you're ever, if you're ever in this city, and you want to like grab coffee or something like that, just let me know. Um, just, you know, I'll be straight. So, I 
Oh yeah. I'm not gonna put the person on blast, but you know. Of course. Can't wait for uh, for Boost Mobile to stand on the uh, AT&T network because you hate T-Mobile, <laughs> and there's people that hate T-Mobile. It just it is what it is. Uh, you're our best person. I don't. I wouldn't say I'm a best person. I really wouldn't say that. Um, but yeah, you know what? Like I'm down to I'm down to to hang out with anyone that wants to hit, you know meet up with me in the future. Like why not? It's just I don't. You're in the land of Florida? Cool. Cool. Maybe one day I might, because uh, I know my older sister, she plans to... Um, I forgot what area she wants to move to. Uh, God, I'm trying to remember. I don't know if there's a place out there called Davenport. Uh, but yeah, she wants to buy a house out there. Um, and then if she moves out there, you know housewarming party obviously i would go out there to go hang out with her and such and uh that'd be cool i think it'd be cool let's see i did hear that some of the boost uh boost locations is getting the new sim at&t card for boost customers yeah but um according to carlos who was just in here a little a little while ago you know he was saying that uh um the uh, expanded uh, SIM card that you get that allows you access on the T-Mobile network will actually work with the AT&T network. So they're not, uh, he's saying that they're not requiring SIM swap, but I guess when they do like the like like the full-fledged announcement, you know, like when, when it goes live, like when they flip the switch and they go live, then we'll, we'll know for sure. If you're in the area, you can, I guess, no, nah, I mean, if, if, if I go there, I mean, I appreciate that, Bobby. If I go there, I'll actually be staying at my sister's house because you know family and whatnot but i mean you're more than welcome to come hang out because i mean i've i've been to florida a few times not a lot so um i think where i went to was uh labelle yeah i went to labelle florida i don't know if you know where that's at um yeah family lived out that way and <laughs> I remember the first time I went fishing and there was gar there were garfish. <laughs> Silly looking fish. <laughs> Alligator snout fish like fish body. It was just the craziest thing ever. Well, what's up, Oscar? What's going on, man? Uh you're out of uh, Harrison, Ohio. Currently work on the on the side for Boost Mobile 2. Oh, two of their locations. Cool. Man, why not? Why not, Bobby? We'll see. We'll see if they ever cross that road. Harrison, Ohio. I've never been. I've never been to Ohio. So that would be awesome to uh, go out that way. Yeah. Yeah, Oscar. I read it. I appreciate it. So I appreciate it, man. But yeah, I mean, there's still places that I do want to go travel to. There's a lot of places I want to go travel to. Um, but, you know, traveling costs money, so in time, I'll be able to do that in time. It'll actually be pretty cool. So Ohio's on the list. I do want to go to um, Ohio. Oh, by the way... Um, Shout out and happy late birthday to JG Tech Blog. Um, if you guys know who he is, that's awesome. If you guys don't, uh, he's, a, he's, a really, he's a really cool dude. And uh, I forgot to mention it yesterday. Um, I told him on, on Facebook because I'm friends with him on Facebook. And I hit him up and told him happy birthday and everything like that. And um, so uh, he told me to send his you know his hellos to the, to the community and to uh, Sneed and everybody else. But yeah, he's doing good. He's traveling a lot. That's all. That's about as much as I can see from like what I see on his, on his Facebook page. But, uh, if anyone ever wondered what happened to JG Tech Blog, yeah, he's living life. <laughs> uh,
Yeah. So, yeah. Big shout out to to JG Tech Blog. I miss his videos. Now, he was like the dude that, that you know did, covered a lot of uh, Metro Metro PCS phone unboxings and stuff like that. But of course, he was running a Metro PCS store, so. They started to uh, phase out some of the T-Mobile service and switching people over to AT&T. That's, that's awesome. That's good to hear. Um, I don't know if Gene wants to mention his location, but <laughs> if, you, if, if you have like insight on Boost Mobile as far as like um, they're migrating their customers over to the AT&T network, maybe you can uh, let Gene know when it goes live in his area because so, he, he ordered a Boost SIM card. So... Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna give him a shot too. Definitely try him out again. Haven't been on Boost Mobile in a while. I think the last time that I had Boost Mobile was when I got that SIM card from Sneed, and it was just he was just like he gave away three of them. He sent one to me, activated it, used it for a while. It was okay on the T-Mobile network. It wasn't that fast? Oh, okay. <laughs> Gene dropped his location, so. Um, Hometown Custom PC. You got info on the Newark, Delaware area? <laughs> Hit Gene up and let him know so he can activate that boost sim. Speaking of which, I was on Hulu today and I saw that Wayne's World 2 is on there. I didn't see Wayne's World 1. I would love to watch part 1 first before watching part 2. But I've been I've been binge watching some some older movies. Like, ever since they said something about um, uh, Suburban Commando. I found it on a website, watched it. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I had laughs on that again. And it just going to that part of the movie where the Undertaker speaks, but his voice is so light and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, that was funny to watch. Um, and then, yeah, you know, like Wayne's World, Wayne's World 2, like some classic movies. At least they're classic to me. And the last time I was on Boost was in November of 2020. Yep. I'm not really happy with T-Mobile because I have T-Mobile home internet and their home their home internet really sucks. It's slow. It's not reliable. It needs improvement. And I will not sell this to any of my customers. Or tell, or tell them to get, or tell, or tell them to get it. Yeah. No, I, that definitely I can definitely can see that. Uh, I try Boost Mobile. It is running slow. Yeah, it's gonna run slow right now. It's on, it's on T-Mobile's network, and as well as the other MVNO accesses. And T-Mobile does not have that large of a network to to hold that capacity. In my opinion, they don't. Um, of course, some T-Mobile shields would think otherwise, but that's okay. Uh, to each his own. Everyone's entitled to think what they want to think. Simple as that. Um. Let me make a choice where where to switch. You haven't uh, made a choice where to switch? Mm. How's at and in your area? Because I know you had Cricket and you were having issues with Cricket, right? I love my new 5G device from Boots Mobile. I almost uh, spent $1,000 for my phone. And I got the uh, S20 Fan Edition 5G. I love the 5G better than I do my old 4G phone. And it's, it's it's hit or miss, especially with, with T-Mobile's network, with their um their low band five G. Um, the same way I can say like you know with Visible, someone was to ask me about Visible, like how's Visible's five G? It's pretty slow, it really is. That's why I prefer using Visible service on like an LTE phone, like the the Pixel Four, where the speeds are better, the downlink and uplink is better. So, but I'm I'm happy that you like your phone. The uh, S20 Fan Edition 5G. That's that's nice. That's dope. That's cool. There you go. If um if Verizon works good in your in your area where you live at Oscar, then give it a shot. Yeah, sometimes we don't get any calls to we see it was like one hour ago. <laughs> wow. On Verizon? Or was that on Cricket? Mm. 
<laughs> Verizon has a deal. $800, $800 off a phone. Yeah, there's going to be all kinds of cool deals and stuff like that. Um, back to school deals and things like that, too. Oh, that was on Cricket that that happened? I don't know. Try Verizon. <laughs> Try VZW. See how that works out there. I saw in front of Arena that in Omaha, Verizon is expanding their 5G and their millimeter wave. And they've installed new millimeter wave 5G towers in the middle of the sidewalk in downtown Omaha in front of a person's home. Yeah, because um, millimeter wave is fast, but it doesn't have the 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 long like the long reach. So by by implementing uh putting uh I don't know what they would call them. But they're not full cell sites, but like those little micro ones, like in the streets, um, should blanket the area with strong coverage. If anyone wants to check out my page, I am on uh, Hometown Custom PC on Facebook. I also have YouTube, video YouTube videos under Hometown Custom PCs. Hey, man, drop your link. Drop your link so, uh, so people can subscribe to you. Like, I don't know how YouTube's policy is, but I don't, um, I don't mind if people drop a link to an actual YouTube page. You know, if it, if it's something else, then yeah, you'll get you'll get banned for dropping any type of other link. But if it's your YouTube channel, drop your link. I'm totally cool with that. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I seen you. I seen you around before. Custom PC. I'm just gonna shorten your name. <laughs> well, I seen I seen you around on the lives and stuff like that. So. And he wants to to move it. And the state of Nebraska has a state law that says once a new 5G tower is installed, no matter where it is, it can't be removed. Yeah, I don't know why people are like you know. I mean, it's I don't think it's a, an eyesore to that extent. Um, but then again, you know what? I mean, that can't change that guy's mind, you know. And if it's his house, like his actual house, his property, like he's not renting it from somebody, he, he owns it, he pays the mortgage on it, you know, it's his property, he has every right to say and do what he wants to do. Um, I, what I think is, is that you know, there should be some sort of uh, residuals that he gets for having it there, kind of like you know, what I mean, that's what they do with like schools. In other places, because like there's some schools here in in uh, downtown Phoenix where, you know, a carrier has a um, a tower constructed like on the school property, and the school gets money from the carrier for having that tower up. Hey, what's up? With, what's, what's up, Latro? Um, they have the the uh, they get paid for that. So maybe the guy should look into that. You know, if it's that much of an eyesore to him, maybe he can work something out with Verizon and. You know, Verizon can give them like a little, you know, a little small check every every month or every year for having that little mini site on his uh, property. Go to free, go to Phone Arena, and you can see where VZ or Verizon uh, put the new millimeter wave five G uh, tower. It's on the sidewalk. Well, I mean, it's on the sidewalk. The guy has no say on that. That's that's um, that state property. That's that's public property. That's not personal property. So, it may be an eyesore for him to see it on the sidewalk. But he doesn't control the sidewalk. So that's what sucks for him. <laughs> uh, Y'all might go with Android again. Eh, that's cool. I mean, you know, just so I can stay up to date. I mean, one Android, one iPhone. So one Android, one iOS. Nothing much eating food. Take a while, guess. <laughs> yeah. Yep, well, that's good. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it that. Uh, I think it's still optimized. This is probably one of the weirdest software updates. Oh, hey, the op 
Yeah, the optimizing apps went further now. It's taking a while. I think I'll do like an update video on how um, 12 beta 3.1 is responding, how it's doing. Um, but this is a minor theme. Like I said, for those who missed it in the very beginning when I talked about it, basically what this fixed before I before I go. Um, so those people who were experiencing boot looping on their device that was running uh, 12 beta 3, this addresses the boot loop issue. Anybody else that was uh, experiencing system UI crashes, this fixes that. And uh, I forgot what the last one was. <sighs> yeah. My memory is just going bad. I came in late, so what's new? Uh, I mean, I was talking about 12, uh, 12 beta 3.1, and I just started talking about random things, you know, food, movies. Um, does it feel smoother? It's it's not it's not done yet, so it's still the it's still at the point where it's optimizing the apps, and then when it restarts. So, um, but here in a little bit, I do got to start uh, start making dinner for the kids for the missus because she should be getting off work here in 15 minutes and then heading home so uh, i like to have dinner waiting for her so you know, she can eat dinner well she can come home change out of you know out of her, her work clothes relax get some food relax a little bit i don't think we're going to the park today uh, we've been taking the kids to the park a little bit more but i don't know we might go if we if we go then i might go live but not on youtube though more than likely probably the the facebook page I mean, like I said, um, all my social links are right there. That URL has like all of it. So um, the Twitter page that's public, you know, for, you know, people to follow. Um, the Facebook fan page, it's actually a fan page. This is because like my personal page can only have so many people follow. And I don't know what will happen in the future with it. But yeah, it's kind of separate, you know, my kids and, and, and what they post and everything like that. Um, so to separate all that stuff. Basically, uh, there's a Facebook fan page just for people to follow on Facebook. Um, I may go live on that. You guys need to come out to Harrison, Ohio, and need to do some of your speed testing because this is where I've been running my speed tests at. Nice, 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 nice. Not really a name change. Um, so, like on Twitter, I have two. I have two Twitter accounts. Um, well, I mean, yeah, I had two Twitter accounts before, but one of them is just personal. Not really talking tech on it, not sharing speed tests and stuff like that. You know, it's like Pokemon Go gameplay and stuff like that. Just things that I, I, I like. It's just personal. And uh, the Facebook fan page, just, you know, when you're coming uh, to come into the city out there, um, I don't know. We'll see. It takes money to travel, you know what I mean? And uh, when you got when you got kids, especially you know, I have four with me here. My oldest son is living back with his mom. Um, yeah, it's uh, kind of hard to pocket money to do things like that. Now I'm talking about the the Facebook page. That one's already out. So um, the URL to that one is uh, fb.me forward slash the Tito Escobar one. That's the that's the link the URL to that page. No rush, man. <laughs> Eventually, I've already ran speed testing in, in Harrison, Ohio, Green Township. Uh, I've seen better speed testing in Green Township. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. We on here. Let me do something here real quick. By the way, this live stream is powered by Los Mobile. <laughs> uh, my typing is so bad. Let's see if this works. Oh, then 
there you go. Uh, that link is to Hometown Custom PC's YouTube channel. So you guys want to go there and subscribe. I just subscribed. I realized I wasn't subscribed, so I just subscribed right now. So if you guys want to go check it out, there it is. But anyways, all right. I'm going to jam out of here. Thanks for hanging out with me. Appreciate it. Apologize for, you know, the trolls. Obviously. I, met, I did that live stream earlier. I said I meant what I said out of it, and I guess it, was, it wasn't taken serious and, or whatever. Or maybe just mad at because I said it. But oh well. Um, I tried. I tried to. All you can do is try, right? All you can do is try, and, it, and if it don't work, it don't work. I mean, it is what it is. So I appreciate it for y'all being cordial and, and uh, you know, yeah. Y'all take it easy. Um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. And I'll have an update, tell you guys how it's how it's handling. <laughs>